deal with airplanes. My great grandfather didn't even have legs, so you got to expect that you know I'm gonna have lean calves. We're just still <laughs> okay. sprouting them out, yeah. you know. He's still working on the family lineage of Dude, it'll legs. be another three generations before we got some fucking you know but beefy that. low pieces in our genes. Our place was a pet shop. It had a pet shop in the front, Ooh. and low key in the back, they was doing you know Sex. sexual offers, bro. But and my buddies, they were real perverts, you know. Yeah. And I'm in there looking at these fucking parakeets hedgehogs? and all kind of parrotlets. They have no, some cool hedgehogs. Birds mostly, dude. Mm. It's the fucking jungle, bro. Hedgehogs. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Look, it's Montana. Um, they had real <laughs> beautiful animals in there, and everybody else is trying to come in the back, and I'm trying to catch one of these fucking beautiful parrotlets out. Dude, front. you don't think you you <clears throat> now now just be that honest? Do you think you bought a cheap parrot and they got your dick sucked <laughs> in the back? I do remember what happened. They had some. <clears throat> We went in the back and and I got super nervous and then I left and I didn't I didn't I and then uh, what did your buddy say go down did they fuck a toucan or something I don't know how strange it got but the funny thing to me was the parrots knew a lot of English and they would mimic a lot of sexual things they'd heard you know like oh get that pony you know <laughs> and it was so crazy use a condom use a condom about the bus about the bus. White guy cheap. White guy cheap. <laughs> white guy cheap. Yeah. White guy I cheap. think that's what they said after the white guys left. White guy cheap. I, yeah, I don't like to. I didn't like to party. I just like to put myself in a crazy situation. Fuck bro. yeah, me too. You know, I was. That's what I was thinking about the whole time. You're saying that I go. Yeah. I don't miss the drugs. I miss the six o'clock on a diner or waking up and some girl gives you an Audi to drive home. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck just happened last night? Yeah, dude. I was in Louisville one time. I came out of a show. <laughs> They had a big group in a limousine. They invited me to go to an after party with them, right? I was like, I'm only coming if my boy can come. And they're like, who's your boy? And I'm like, Le Cedric. They had a brother nearby, right, wearing this <laughs> Louis Vuitton jacket, dude. Probably about 60% homeless, right? And they're like, that's your boy? And I didn't even talk to this dude, right? I was like, yeah, that's my boy. And they're like, all right, he can come. So I fucking walk over to him looking right in the eyes. And I was like, what's up, man? I'm Theo. He's like, Le Cedric. And, uh... I was like, all right, dude, I told these people you're my friend. You ever been in a limousine? He's like, nah. -uh. I was like, all right, come get in with us. Just act like you're my friend, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to a party. He's like, all right, man. So we go in the limo, bro. We're in there, hot chicks, dudes, people fucking. Lil Cedric kept saying, we're friends. That's what he kept saying out loud, right? <laughs> kind of fucking not the best actor, bro. But did we get to this house party? <laughs> It's a nice, cool fucking party, bro. <laughs> I'm downstairs. I'm in the kitchen. Somebody's making us a drink. I'm talking to somebody. Fucking six minutes later, bro, I hear a fucking... Somebody scream. I hear a window break, right? Somebody comes running down. They said some dude just stole like four purses out of the coat room upstairs and fucking jumped out a window. <laughs> That would have been me, Doug. And that was I... fucking Le Cedric, bro. Uh, and that was like, but, and everybody there was like crying and pissed. And some girl was like furious because all her tampons were in there or something. I remember she got pissed. She was a tough girl. And we're on this bus, right? Yeah. And the big rule, this young kid's rule was, who wasn't sleeping, was no shitting on this bus, right? <laughs> and the first day I was like, guys, don't use the restroom. But after about 40 hours of no sleep, he's like, I dare somebody to shit on this motherfucker, <laughs> right? <laughs> So, literally, we're on, like, day three uh, on one of these tours, and we're somewhere, and it's fucking 11 o'clock at night, right? Yeah. And I tell this dude, bro, Miss Margaret, who is the older karaoke Miss woman. Miss Margaret, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just shit in the shitter, right? <laughs> and this dude has not slept, bro. He's doing it all, no toes, whatever, <laughs> driving a fucking half million dollar bus, right, with seven human beings living in it. And whatever girl who was banged and is still asleep in one of these, uh, you know, pods, yeah. who's going to wake up in White Plains, New York, and have two options one, take a Greyhound home, or two, uh, be our merch girl. <laughs> <laughs> Be our merch girl, which really was nothing because there was no merch. <laughs> Be our merch girl. So, oh. so next thing you know, this lady comes out of the bathroom. She probably just urinated or put on some extra lipstick, right? But I'm like, dude, Miss Margaret just took a shit in there, right? <laughs> so this dude fucking pulls the bus over on the interstate, has lost his mind, jumps out of his seat, jumps on Miss Margaret, right? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. 
starts literally choking this lady out on the floor, bro. I'm not joking. Miss Margaret's partner, Mr. Dan, right, who is the male karaoke guy, yeah. literally cannot bend over to help because he had a bad back, right? He had best posture I've ever seen. Yeah. I also think he had a rod in his back or maybe two rods. Yeah. But uh, could not bend down to help. So he's just like yelling. I'm like, should I get somebody to help? Should I not get somebody to help, bro? This is hella fucking exciting, right? Yeah. It's midnight, and there's a fucking, the skinniest guy ever who hasn't slept in two and a half days choking on an adult woman yeah. who's selling hangover beverages and doing karaoke. Scooping up shit. Imagine if your grandma just shit all over your yawn. Just go out go out in the lawn and just, she shits in the yard. Shits on the lawn, like, oh, grandma's out there shit, and I gotta go clean up her shit. Yeah. I love her, but God, I hate cleaning her shit. Yeah, I would hate cleaning up probably human shit for some reason. But I remember. More than dog shit? Well, when I was a kid, they had a boy in our neighborhood named Mario, right? <laughs> and he, uh, and he was, dude, he ended up dying, actually. He did some pills and drove into an embankment. But he, when I was young, he would shit in his yard, and make me bury it. And that's how, <laughs> that's how I was allowed to be friends with him. <laughs> Why, how did he make you bury it? He just asked me to do it, and I was afraid not to do it, I think. He said, hey, yo, dude, you're not going to believe this, but I took a shit, and um, it's out my yard. I can't even bury it because I'll throw up. Can you do me a favor and go bury it? Yeah. He was, <laughs> dude, he was dark, man. He had a he had a real dark vision. And he would, uh, he would, I mean, he probably, honestly, dude, I was like, <laughs> He probably shit 200, 300 times, and I buried it. No. I swear to God. Come on. I swear really? to God. I swear to God, dude. And he, um. How'd you not run out of places to make new holes? Did you think you ever dug up old shit to put in new shit? Oh, oh yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, man. It, <laughs> we basically had, like, the only setup I had, and I didn't even have a strong system. The only setup I had was, like, a one of those plastic, uh, you know, beach. Oh, no. Like a beach yeah. setup. Dude, How I'm talking, I was seven. So, wait a minute. This seven year old was doing this? How old was he? He was eight or nine. Oh, he was tricking you by yeah. being older. Yeah. He was older. And two years when you're seven is a long stretch. You know, when you're 32, oh, yeah. 32, 34, that doesn't mean shit. Whatever, dude. You, seven and nine, that's a big stretch. Yeah, you go shit at your house, buddy. That's what I tell people now. <laughs> but, so for two, what he would, what was the, do you remember the first? There's no way you really remember. I remember what 100%. he said. I don't remember what he said, but I remember. How did it happen? How did it happen when you find yourself with a plastic shovel and another person's shit going, damn, how did it come to this? Well, it came to it because he, I know my brother probably wasn't around and I wanted somebody to play with and he mm. was older. So I was hanging out and he was deviant, man. How so? He just had a little bit of like, um, like he was kind of slithering. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. From, uh, he knew how to manipulate you. Yeah, he was. Obviously, uh, you buried his shit 200 plus times. Like there wasn't, he had the same color in the outside of his eye and the inside of his eye. You know what I'm talking like about? a demon. Yeah. Like a light demon. El Diablo. Yeah, like an El Diablo, but mm. also who was in elementary school. Oh, interesting. Um, but he... Uh, so when you first found yourself, do you remember the the feeling that you first found when you were digging a hole for a dude's shit? Like, just thinking, what am I... How long can I do this? What if he keeps asking? How do I stop this? How did you wind up stopping? That's maybe a better question. You know what? I don't remember how it kind of, you know, pan... You know, how petered it kind off. of... Yeah, petered off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember how it kind of tapered off. You know? his, two, his parents ever like, hey, do you ever shit in the house? How come we don't have any missing toilet paper? <laughs> well, dude, you know what? That's what I think it was. I think he was lazy. We're, you know, he was, I'm serious. And he shat outside behind his sl uh, slide. They had a slide in his yard because they had you know, a little oh bit of money. God. And he shat outside behind the slide. Shat this is a great word, too, by the way. And it was silty kind of soil and sand. And oh. I remember going over there. And I still remember the same night, bro. I was sleeping in this guy's room, and he had a bunch of pets stacked up along the walls because he loved all kinds of pets. And there was five of us sharing a bed, right? And, um, and <laughs> all night, bro, I can't sleep, right? Because I'm, sca I'm scared of all these Jesus animals, Christ. bro. I'm scared of all these animals, bro. And I can't sleep, right? And so uh, I'm just thankful that this one, <laughs> this dog keeps barking, man. I'm so high. That this dog, I'm just thankful that this dog outside the window keeps barking on like, because I'm awake. I can't sleep, right? All the other four kids in his bed are asleep. And you can just hear these pets moving in their cages. And he had a big ceiling fan in the middle of the room that was spinning, right? So it's like whirling up all these pets that's right terrible. and even though we can sleep is keeping them awake because you got to think a ceiling fan for a pet that's got to be like you know 
a fucking tornado going off constantly, right? <laughs> we don't think about that, you know? So I'm fucking laying in the bed. Thankfully, this dog barks every now and then. It keeps me company, right, even though it's outside. And then you hear boom, 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 boom. My buddy's dad walked out there, killed the dog right outside the fucking window. Boom! Went back to sleep, dude. Same dude that hours earlier had been smelling a young man's hand, man. <laughs> Same man. And that's what blew my mind about the world. Like, how could at one moment a guy be so gentle? That dude's a monster. And then, yeah, and then seven hours later be blowing a freaking animal's head open because it was barking, you know? You have an animal in the woods, bro. It's going to bark. You know how much woods is out there? You know, he probably hears everything. They said they can hear everything. Imagine hearing six times something. You'd fucking be angry, you know, your neighbor, you know, four houses over. I don't know, man. I'm high, bro. First, you talk about incest, and you gotta talk about killing dogs. So you gotta bring me down. So I mean, I'm bringing you down. I've been that down since fucking. Oh, dog, I'm sorry. S- since Lee told me his girlfriend don't do laundry. Oh, <laughs> damn. I haven't been that fucking depressed. What? How are you gonna get the laundry done, dude? <laughs> she doesn't live with me. Why would you do my laundry? I do my, I did my laundry. I didn't bring it to the thing. Anymore. Bro, it's, if you're really in love with it, you should fucking leave a load over there. When you go back two days later, see if it's cleaned or her not. Her mom would That's do it. That's if it's love. No, but the thing is, she still lives with her mom. Her mom would do it. Oh, wow. Her mom has offered. Fuck yeah. Bring it over there. Fold the on these, put starch on them. Is her mom married to a brother or not? Have you ever no. had fun? <laughs> She's Mexican. <laughs> Have you ever had Who's starch on the West? Uh, starch in my underwear? Yeah. No, that's oh, not, that oh, sounds wow. terrible. Why would you want starch? Fucking tremendous. Make you feel like an adult. Yeah, soft. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Makes you feel like you have a checkbook, you know? It makes you fucking feel good. <laughs> Bro, bring up another picture of Jeff Van Vondren, please, from Intervention. <laughs> Dude, we should get Jeff Van Vondren on here. Ask him about Kratom? Well, just to talk about supplements and how people can get addicted to those, I bet he would have a ton of stories. Yeah, he would be fun. Dude, that guy would be amazing, man. He's a bag full of dicks. <laughs> no, what are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> it's different, though. Dude, Holly Holmes fighting this Dude, week, we need to get huh? him on before he dies. Yeah, bro, he is. Well, he just, yeah. I knew he did that. He had that gig with Monopoly for about 20 years, and then <laughs> he was helping people recover from dope. He's going to, I'm sure, run uh, work at the front of a train for about eight months, and then he'll die. <laughs> and that's probably going to be unfortunate. Because all the people in the intervention, all the therapists, are former addicts, huh? Yeah. They act better than everyone, too. No, they don't. <laughs> yeah, they act like, oh. You, I'm, you, they are better. Yeah, they're only better than people who are addicted. That's it. It's one step No, better. but they throw that shit in their face. I've been there. Look at me. I did it. Oh, look at look at my life. All right, bro. You got a shit suit on. You're obviously here. I don't want that for myself. Dude, they're not bad people. They're helping people change. Yeah, they're their cocky lives. about it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what drives me nuts about intervention. They're real cocky about it. Dude, there's a guy shooting heroin into his nose. Okay, <laughs> they gotta be cocky about it, dude. <laughs> Shit, you gotta be like, cocky when you're dealing with it's those people. It's oh, it did look uh, like here. Like, oh, oh damn, at least like... he's in shape. Oh. Oh. No, I don't like how they throw that shit in all the addict's face, though. You know what I'm saying? They're not. Like, you got to be willing to cut them off. Kick them out of the house. No money. What? Mom, are you ready to do that? It's like, fuck, <laughs> no. That's my son, you fuck. And then they all go to a Radisson and have a big free-for-all in one of the Why are they always at a Radisson? I don't know. Or they're at, like, a Ramada Inn. Oh, people Why is get it not nicer? Ramadas, too. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, it's usually, at, like, you're right, though. Radisson, Ramada Inn, uh, sometimes Motel 6, depending on the guy. Oh, dude. Motel 666, bro. People get gunned down at those all the time. Every Ramada time. Ramada has the murder rate at Ramada is unbelievable. Well, Ramada, it's either murders or you're getting your dick sucked. There's no <laughs> in-between. Dude, the third floor of Ramada, always closed for murder, bro. Always. There was always a murder. It's always, there's That's no more. Go. That's where you go. Dude, they had a mint on my pillow one time, I thought. It was uh, a fucking a grammar turd? crack. No. Oh, damn, great. See, that's a gift. <laughs> I was like, is this a mint? I was like, is this a pillow mint? Uh, Dude, I like seeing rare things, man. They used to have, I remember. What activities do you think you do where you come a lot? Like the kind of people that like power uh, lifters probably shoot giant loads, right? I think you would think they do, but for their size and stuff, they're not doing that much. Who do you I, think shoots the biggest loads? Basketball oh, I think players? a guy that's in space. I think a guy that's on a cliff, <laughs> like a cliff climber. Yeah, but is that the biggest loads? I mean, that guy's shooting some fucking... Just because he has the balls to climb uh, up like that? He's busting Ooh, some real spackle. Is. Maybe that's what it is. Like, he, he's got balls. Right. Like, those guys shoot bigger loads. Yeah. Like BMX jumpers, and they jump three times in the air and then land on the bike? Yeah. Maybe they have the biggest loads. Um... 
also guys who like fake put a sign on their car when they don't pay a meter and like meters broken and they just put that on their car and fucking still park there. Mm. Those dudes bust some <laughs> loads, bro. <laughs> I think there's other things, too. Like pickpockets? Oh, people that wear turtlenecks do not come very much or far. No? What is it about wanting to keep your neck warm? It's not very manly. It's just a bitch move, I think. (laughs) It's just the most French thing, too. Uh, and I don't care French about the French, thing. dude. Dude, this shit is getting gay, bro. Today. <laughs> Man, sorry, I gotta fuck it. It's just very dick oriented today. I wouldn't say it's gay. Well, it's that time of year. It's spring. People are refreshed. It's not spring. It's, it's the middle of the winter. Yeah, it's freezing cold out. It's just January. Whatever. You guys it aren't. Op- you guys aren't open minded. <laughs> That's what I think. Bro. It doesn't get more winter than okay. January. Well, it's not even a Groundhog's Day yet. Why don't you say it's August? Okay. Right? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. No shit. Me and freaking shout out Billy Conforto, dude. He's on the topic <laughs> today, but me and him used to pull off the interstate and shoot steroids in each other's butts, man. Did you get really Butt jacked? Cheeks. Oh, dude. I could fucking, for the first time in my life, I could keep my hopes up, man. I was strong. Where did you get the steroids from? Uh, we got them from this guy, Sean. Were you competing in any sport at the time, or you just wanted to get swole? Just looking nice in math, you know? That was mm-hmm. it. Just trying to look nice in math class. And I even remember my math teacher one time, dude, uh-huh. and she never gave me any attention. And she always looked at all the handsome boys in our class. And I remember one day she finally said, wow, Theo, uh, that shirt looks nice on you. <laughs> and I knew what she was fucking saying, Yeah, we're doing Sean steroids. <laughs> oh, I knew what she was saying, dude. I knew her husband wasn't enough. So yeah, yeah. Her husband, when she got home today, he wasn't going to be enough. Yeah. You know? Dude, I like seeing rare things, man. They used to have, I remember... They had somebody who called in our podcast, and they said uh, they'd never seen a black little person before. Oh, like a black midget? Yeah. And they had one in our town, dude, and he had these dreads, right? This dude named D- uh, No Dante, right? No Dante? Yeah. And he had these dreads, bro, and they we, he, they were so long, he would fucking trip over them when he was running, oh, bro. fuck. But he was a fucking <laughs> G, dude. Yeah. And he would play basketball, but he would, like... He would kind of cheat a little bit because it was almost like soccer. Sometimes you'd almost catch him playing soccer, but he was so fast you could barely see it. You like know? he would kick you with his feet, but since he was short, you'd let it slide. Yeah, you'd let it slide. Not where I come from. But really? Go- no, 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 no. We can't have that. Yeah, man. People, I think he was like a town mascot. People loved him, man. I don't know what happened. I love, to him. I love how you take calls on your show. You just take calls. How, how do you filter out? Do, I, well, I assume there's not too many people calling, like talking shit. Like, you're not getting trolls and stuff. No, we had a guy. A lot of people will have difference of opinion. We get some stuff talking stuff. Difference like, of opinion is fine, but it, no one is doing a call me like, you're the worst comic ever. You fucking suck, you hack, and then hang up or anything. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't got much of that. You're good, we get man. a lot of people crying, jerking off. We've had a couple of dudes fu- fucking and no. leaving voicemails. Yeah. I'll have to do a thing. You do uh, voicemails? Yeah, people leave voicemails, and oh, then we play smart. them back. Oh, that's super smart. Yeah, because some of these fucking mooks, you can't have them just running. <laughs> no. You know? I, I figured you had a producer who's controlling it, be like, all right, caller seven. <laughs> Here we go. We got Jamie in Dallas. Jamie, what do you got for Theo? <laughs> Hi, Theo. I'm here, and I'm worried about my boyfriend. He's been doing a ton of, ton of coke and grew a mullet out, and yeah. he's starting to act a lot like you, and are we going to make it? You know, is that like, like show? Yeah, you're going to make it at least. Two years in a row, baby. <laughs> you, got, you got at least two years in you. I guess it's something like that, man. Um, yeah, it's just people just jerk. It's a lot of dudes that are just addicted to jerking off mostly and just struggling. So, struggling with jerking off all the time? Bro, that stuff's killing people, I think. Don't pet the Playboy. That's what I'm going to make a shirt that says that on the back. Oh, Don't pet man. the Playboy, dude. Well, the scary part is, I start to think, is this the best I'm going to look, you know? Yeah, I'm going downhill myself. Yeah, I, yeah. I got another year before people are like, oh, shit. Shop's falling off like a motherfucker. When Callan's been falling apart, man, bless his heart, dude. I saw him the other day. And, man, I don't know if they're not. I mean, I thought he was a... Looked like he just went to an early movie. He looked like a senior, you know? <laughs> and it was just weird. I remember, so I became friends with this French black kid named Devin Deku, right, in our town. And, yeah. he, and uh, I remember I'd go over to his house, and we'd go in his house, and it was cool to just be, like, in a black kid's house and just kind of see what their life was like and real intimate and, like, um, and I remember bathing with his friends sisters in this tub in their front yard <laughs> and uh what was oh God, i can't remember what this one i think this dude might have been a pedophile but he kept yelling something at us uh oh, i can't remember what it was but anyway Devin and i went fishing one time sometimes we go get like lunch meat or whatever and go fish right yeah. well one time these bull these white kids are walking across this 
literally these standby mirrors are going over this bri- this train track over this water where we're fishing down by the river. And they start throwing rocks at us and calling us the N-word. Yeah. And I'm trying to yell to them. I'm not the N word, you know. <laughs> guys, well, yeah, like, guys, hey, are you colorblind? Just one of it's us. Just him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll back off. <laughs> and Devin, my buddy Devin, is dying that I'm trying to like because I'm also I think I'm mildly doing it to entertain him, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so it was, but at the same time, dodging rocks from these racist kids who obviously have poor eyesight, you know. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I mean, just th- just things like that. Just growing up in a place that was unique. So that's when I've started to incorporate keeping that mentality. Dude, I remember when the, before they even had child pornography, when children were just not, you know, doing that. And they had um, somebody one time when I was in college sent me a picture of two old men and they were naked mm-hmm. in a room. I remember getting this email. Oh, Lemon Party. And I've they, probably seen the same image. And they had a kid like sitting on a bed. Oh, no. no, I haven't seen that image. <laughs> right? And I, in my mind, I'd never thought about old people and children and sex, you know, or anything wild like that. Wait. So I remember seeing it and be like, oh, this is fucking hilarious <laughs> but i remember seeing him be like what a crazy idea like you know everybody is naked you know and so like life is naked this is just an you know it's almost like an art like this is how people you know it's like this is when they're old and this is when they're young and these guys are you know watching tv or whatever you know i thought so i sent it to everybody oh, i knew i was no. like guys this is so silly <laughs> And, dude, I remember, like, two years later running into an ex-girlfriend, and she goes, well, what have you been up to with your life, right? She goes, yeah, well, nobody will forget that time that you sent that picture of two old men and a naked kid to everybody. And I was like, that's not what that was. I'm like, that's what that was if you look at it like a creep. fucking excommunicated by everyone you knew. But I just thought it was cute. Like, I thought it was like seeing a couple rabbits in a yard. You know when you see two rabbits on a goat's back, like in a photo? (laughs) Sure, yeah. Like, I thought it was like that. Oh, let's just mix the world. You know, I didn't think of it as sex. (laughs) Oh, my God. Did you get any responses? Uh, No. uh, That girl, once when that girl told me that, then I started to feel, I mean, I think that probably made me feel bad about myself. Because then I thought, I don't remember, I don't even have that account anymore. I don't even know who's on that email list, (laughs) who had seen that. Right. The FBI's still looking for you. (laughs) She also said the kid, she goes, was that you in the photo? Because the kid (laughs) looked like me a little bit. And that's why I think somebody had originally sent it to me. Like, hey, man, is this you? And I was like, no, it's not me, dude. I don't know two old people that would be naked in a room with me. You know, and just taking photos. But I wasn't thinking like, oh, "Oh, these guys are being dirty. You know, it's sad that you can't even be safe. You can't be even clean anymore sometimes if you want to of heart without it going to like a dirty place. You You look at a tribe, you see now those photos, those people standing around a fire all the time. Everybody's fucking naked. Yeah. But that's okay. No, I agree. It's, it's you know, you throw two, you know, through two seniors and a, you know, and a seven year old in a motel six and suddenly you that can't shit. email that to everyone, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's not cool. That's not kumbaya, <laughs> bro. You know, that ain't Zaire. The Dutch are so aerodynamic. They move good. You know, you ever seen a Dutch? They're really aerodynamic. They're. The what? What do you do with your hands? Lean face, <laughs> lean headed. <laughs> no, they're not. It's four inches cheek to cheek. They're big people, man. Dude. Do you know how big they are? The Dutch, oh, they're very tall, but yeah. they're very aerodynamic, very... Aerodynamic. The downhill people, they call them, dude. <laughs> you know, where you're looking for an occupation, but you're, if you're not doing that, you're probably up to some dark art. You know? Sorry about that. <laughs> what the, the fuck, fuck bro? I hear music. That's weird, you know, yeah. That's Thank Joey's you. ringtone? It's like Elvis for the holidays, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you God. on some fucking Memphis email list, bro? Oh, look, I'm walking at, the, I'm by a 7-Eleven the other day, you know, just minding my business, kind of just kind of seeing what was happening in the area. In 7-Eleven, huh? No, outside of it. Oh, word. Dude, nothing good happens. No, none of the fun stuff, I don't feel like. Ever. Happens inside of the 7-Eleven. Never, unless you're by the Slurpee machine. That gets a little tricky. Yeah, and you might catch a blowjob, you know, somebody that doesn't know how a Slurpee machine works. Yes. So I'm out there. I end up in the uh, I'm outside in the parking lot and there's a man, a ginger, tall ginger. Mm. And he's walking by with his child. He is a child. Another same ginger or no? No, the child looked a little darker, I thought, you know, and I've mixed a lot of things in my life. I don't know if I ever go ginger and urban, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's I mean, that's. 
it's not there's nothing wrong with it you know it's I think, rare though oh you're gonna be able to dunk you yeah. know but it's gonna i mean you get a blake griffin is what you get yeah, yeah. you get a blake griffin but you also could get a, a you know um you get a potato too though <laughs> yeah yeah you can get a potato too <laughs> yeah you can get an eggplant yeah you, you know? get, get that red-headed eggplant <laughs> yeah you don't know what nobody you... likes yeah, dude, you might get a, uh, you might get a stuffed animal, you know, you never know. So that's that risk, you know. But what happened was, so I'm walking across, I walk, I'm outside of the 7-Eleven, and this dude yells out, Red King! <laughs> right? <laughs> and, bro, the crazy part was there's two other homeless dudes outside the 7-Eleven. So they, did they think that he was referring to them? <laughs> yes. And did the bump oh. go gang gang? <laughs> One of them looked and put his hand in the air. You know? like, yeah, Rat King, baby. So, you know I eat them rats. Yeah, I <laughs> so I didn't know who this guy was just so for a second. I don't know who he's talking to, you know? It took you a while to register. Oh, and then he drags his kid over. The kid is wearing a Brazilian jiu-jitsu outfit, right? And I don't know if it's called a guia. Yeah. The kid was wearing a guia. And the uh and they walk him over. And the kid is screaming, crying, like does not. He's scared of the Rat King. So, I mean, he's probably scared of me. <laughs> he's scared of the other. Scared of the real Rat King. Yeah. You. Oh, he's that scared of the other Rat son. Kings in training, boy. <laughs> he's scared of this. I mean, he's scared that his dad is dragging him through a Seven Eleven parking lot. You know, while he's wearing basically a Japanese man's dress is what that <laughs> thing is. And so, anyway, the dude hits me up in the parking lot. He's like, "Ah, oh, Rat King." And he's like, ah, oh, I love you, man. His kid is crying. His kid starts using whatever jujitsu moves there are on him, like on his leg, right? Just totally. And the dad doesn't give a fuck. Oh, the dad doesn't give a fuck, dude. You can he's tell. He's trying that. to get a glimpse of the real oh, rat yeah. king. Oh, gee. <laughs> you can tell he's going to beat the son at the house, you, were, you know? Yeah, as soon as you get out. Yeah. You embarrass me in front of the rat king yeah. like that? Yeah. Little motherfucker. <clears throat> so that was wild, man. And you were just chilling out front the 7-Eleven, though. Yeah, I was were you out looking there. for trouble or you're just kind of chilling? No, I just like to see who's in the neighborhood, man. We have a lot. Like at our 7-Eleven, they got a lot of, it's a lot of pimps come by with escorts. You got a red box out there. Like if a plane crashed, I already know I'm planned ahead, dude. I'd eat a Vietnamese guy. Why? Um, Because that's easy. It's a starter move. If you attack somebody bigger, (laughs) if you eat somebody bigger in front of other people, it's going to alarm people. But you... You got to eat a small person, so stature is important. I think if you gum down a Viet, people aren't going to be that upset at you. Well, the, the you know? Vietnamese people are going to be super upset. What are you talking about? No, well, somebody's okay. dad. Yeah, they're sacrifice. They're more <laughs> understanding of things, dude. Is this a character you're playing? No. <laughs> but if you eat a black dude, you eat a black lady and her family's there, they're going to be pissed. So you think a Vietnamese person will let you slide? I think that they'd be much more forgiving over a couple of day period. Mm, I think... Uh, like well, their relatives. You don't think so? Honestly. Well, one thing... No, I don't think so. I definitely think they'd be super pissed at you, especially modernized ones. But what is interesting is like Vietnam is one of the few places where um, Americans can go back to Vietnam and they don't seem to hold any grudge at all. Exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A, man, honestly. <laughs> It, well, Asian people in general are are just much more forgiving and understanding. It seems like I feel yeah. like I think. I mean, I don't have much. I think I think that's a giant generalization. It probably is. You know, I mean, I did a fast for like four days, and then I was at the Best Buy, and um, and I remember this Vietnamese guy was trying to help me out, and I couldn't even hear him. I was so hungry, <laughs> and I, I couldn't. You and, did a fast for four days. Oh, dude, yeah. Well, what were you I, trying to prove? I don't know, man. I was probably just dealing with some stuff, and I was just trying to find a different way to handle it, you know? Right. Um, and then I remember this Vietnamese guy, and I remember thinking, if everybody turned the other way for a second, I could eat this young fella. You know, Ben. <laughs> his name was Ben, actually, <laughs> over there in Westwood. Um, but I, and I'd never thought... Oh, my thought, God, that's so ridiculous. But, well, I mean, but here's the thing. I'd never thought that before. So you only thought you got to the verge of cannibalism after just four days. Yeah. Damn. How much weight did you lose? I probably lost about four pounds, but pounds I needed, too. You wow. Know? But I got clear, man. I could he- And I could hear, swear to God, y'all could hear somebody fold a piece of bread from 80 feet away, bro. <laughs> I was so hungry, dude. I could hear a fucking skittle hit the cement <laughs> across the street. I'm really focusing on learning more Spanish, so I can, uh, I want to do a special uh, in and like just a, Spanish? Yeah, like in Nicaragua or something. My dad's from Nicaragua. So I want to do a special in Nicaragua. Yeah. Your dad is not Nicaraguan. I'm... Pu- <laughs> Uh, we might have to edit that out, dude, because Nick that's a, that time closer. Okay. <laughs> Go one more time, bro. I want to see how racist this ends up. 
Nicaraguan. Whoa, bro. A couple of guys just shut up at the door, dude. Dude, Relax, how do you bro. say it? You can't even speak on Kratom, can you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, you say it, Nicaragua. Bro, you are not Nicaraguan. <laughs> yes. Bro, my father's from Bluefields, Nicaragua. I'm Polish who, who Nicaraguan. Who fuck lied to you? No, you're not. Bro, my... Uh, you're Hawaiian and from Denver. <laughs> hey, shut up, bro. <laughs> Beth, get over here, Beth. Dude, another time. This dude, my buddy, Billy Conforto, rest in peace, bro. He died. He drove into an uh, embankment. But he, um... He used to do pills and everything, and we were bus boys together. We were co-bus boys, even though he was about 35 or 40, you know? He looked like Don Flamenco. You know who that is from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? The little Italian guy, and he's like... No. Meow, meow, meow. No, no. He looked like that guy, but without the roses and about an extra 20 pounds, and he was also homosexual. But he uh, he gave me some pills, you know, gave me some somas one night or something. I think try to maybe take advantage of me. I don't remember. That's the good thing about pills is, you know what I'm saying? If you did get molested, you don't really have to remember it. But I remember uh, this girl, this hot chick that I knew was at this bar we ended up at. And I was like, I need a ride home. I mean, I was I sat in my passenger seat. She drove us home while she's driving. I vomited all over. Right. And the only thing I remember is we made plans to go to church the next morning. So in the morning, I come out of my house, have no <coughs> clue how I got home, open the car door. And there's vomit everywhere, except like in the shape of this woman right on the on the front car seat. And I went and over to church, and she was there, and she looked at me like I was the devil himself, man. You barked on this poor girl. Yeah, she's a sweet girl too, man. And she has children now because I seen on Instagram she has some children. I'll tell you what I fucked with is uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh yeah, you and him look like brother. Oh dude, <laughs> dude, Will you hey, can you? Is am- that your dad? <laughs> is Dog dad, the dude? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Bro, don't fucking touch me after you're a dick, dude. <laughs> Bro. Same fucking dick tag. <laughs> Look at your dad. No way, bro. <laughs> your dad's on the That just hit me. He dyes his hair, dude. And he, he has asthma, too, and he uses the N-word. Uh, Does he use the n I mean, so we have a couple things in common, but that's <laughs> it, bro. Bro, you guys look identical. No way, dude. Are you shitting me? His wife looks like a fucking... Nightmare. Oh my you talking God. about tits? You talking about tits? <laughs> yeah, it's like her stomach just fucking hooked to her chest and then uh, then got a divorce. No, That's what it looks, it looks like. like when she eats, it just goes her titties. Yeah, yeah, like every meal she's ever had, like her it just tits fills up her tits. Yeah. <laughs> like her tits are taking shits, probably. Look at that. Oh my God. Dude, it looks like a 50 year old dude's ass on her chest. That's insane. Bro. Don't reach over here, you fucking bloated Italian. Dude. You look like an Italian dude that drowned and then just still lived. <laughs> oh, Puerto Ricans you were talking. That They used to say, uh, that's when, did you guys, oh, I was talking about the first Mexican kid we had in our town, right? So we had class with the hamsters, right? Going yeah. back to that, right? The, the, <laughs> that man, Mr. Bl- Mr. Blackwell's class. We had the hamsters. They let you keep the hamsters after Superman got killed? No, no, no. That was, yeah, I just mean it was that same time, right? And everybody would get a different pet. <laughs> and, uh, we used to play this game where you would like somebody would lay down and you would put a snake on their back or a fake snake on their back, right? And you would play guess if I have a snake on my back or not, right? <laughs> and people would literally bet uh, if they did or what they were going to guess. And then sometimes we would put this game where you, because they had this one rabbit in there that was always falling asleep. It was like almost, hey, you know, like a whatever rabbit narcolepsy kind of is, you know, where he just drifts off, you know, because it's a rabbit. They're not doing much, you know. And you would set a rabbit on a pile of money, and you try to pull the dollars out from under him and uh, and without waking him up. That was, like, the biggest uh, thing we used to do in class before class. But the problem, but the, not the problem, but the thing that happened was this Mexican kid moved in named Nick, right? And the first thing he ever said in class, the man was, uh, in science, they also taught you sex ed, right? So... Like the first day this kid, Nick, was in there, it was during the sex ed part, and he stands up and he goes, uh, what is, he goes, what does pop that cherry mean? That's what he said. <laughs> he asked the fucking teacher, like, as serious as could be, he's like, what does pop that cherry mean? And then he, uh, he ended up banging some girl, like, in sixth grade, right? And, uh, and she broke up with him, broke his heart, and he, he started to like rap music, and he wore this t-shirt that said, Nick the Rapper, that he wrote on it with a marker, right? But he only put one P in it, and it said, Nick the Raper on it, the fucking shirt that he wore. And they fucking expelled him. They expelled him. That's racism. Uh, I guess he was Mexican. 
But see, Maxime didn't play a part and he was a bad speller and he fucking was asking stupid questions. What does pop that cherry mean? Okay, where's where I'm from? Dude, I remember my mom actually won a perm one time on the radio when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> And some other bitch from across town said it was hers. <laughs> Fucking like, bitch, they know who won. I know, you know what what's up, dog. <laughs> Fucking they know whore, who won man. the perms. I don't trust people from Louisiana. Well, I mean, it's a hit or miss state. You know, it has a lot of um, you got that dark magic. Mullets are not frowned upon. Not frowned upon at no. all. It's actually the go-to. Yeah, yeah, it is, dude. <laughs> Do you think you see yourself ever going to church again? Yeah, I would think so. I yeah. think church is kind of evolving over our time and stuff like that. And um, would you go to Justin Bieber's preacher, Carl Lentz? You know who he is? Yeah. He, Whoa. He texted me actually. Whoa. He's trying to groom you, trying to pull you in. How is low he a dark arts? How low, low do you wear your shorts? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw you guys making fun of his root. <laughs> Dick root. Yeah, that was a little wild, huh? So you know him? So you know uh, I've never met him. No, you just text each other back and forth. Yeah, we communicate sometimes. Hashtag, yeah, that's that root. Hashtag dick root. Handsome fellow. And though. he... Uh, Looks good. Yeah. They're both pretty camo attractive, too. I think. He's got camo but they, shorts. Um, Those camo shorts? Yeah. 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 But I've never met him. But uh, I would go to... just text to, each other. Yeah. Does he try to meet you? And you're like, not tonight, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> You think he's homoerotic? No. Oh. No. I mean, I, that's I, a weird way of putting it. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I think you're homoerotic. What? <laughs> bro, you're homo way gayer than me, talk. bro. <laughs> you always, every time I'm here, you talk about jerking off the magical Is hat the we problem? almost wore. <laughs> what about Is that? that? The problem It's like you came in here with like gay expectations. No, I got <laughs> nothing, dude. Papa Murphy's that bullshit because you've heard of Papa John's, right, y'all? Papa Murphy. Yeah, Papa Murphy's. I don't know if they have them in LA, but in Denver. It's a fucking chain. You buy frozen pizza. You yeah. get your pizza and then I don't cook want it that. at home. Dude, I want a real pizza shit. place. Me I want too, an bro. angry ginger manager. Yes. I want a couple of I want a black guy who doesn't give a fuck cooking my pizza. <laughs> yeah. I want Pizza Hut. Okay. Well, no, no, That's no, no, what no. I want, dude. No, I want, we want real pizza, bro. Yeah. When's the last time you had you got a, uh, King or Sting at Pizza Hut Domino's will bring two pizzas. King it or Sting it? Yeah, bro. What Pizza Hut or Domino's? Yeah. Dude, Domino's is basically... Dude, Domino's? Domino's is like somebody took a can full of pizza flavoring and just sprayed it in a box and brought it to your house. And what's man. fucking Pizza Hut? Pizza Hut is real pizza. It has pizza in the title. Pizza Hut's Domino's, a fucking board game. <laughs> yeah. And they're fucking selling you pizza. Pizza Hut? That's like, hey... Like how obvious is that? What should we call it? Well, we, <laughs> we're in a hut and we make pizza. Yeah. It's least, fucking stupid. At least they have pizza in the title. I don't need that to know they make a delicious product. Yeah, dude. What do you mean? Domino's. Domino's. Obviously not, dude. It's delicious. Oh my god, bro. Uh, most people are dying. How many skateboards did that haircut come with? Have you seen his fucking haircut? <laughs> Unbelievable. Skateboards? Yeah. Both of my seven and five year old nephews. Dude, have now, let me ask you, that. with that lesbian haircut, do you get a discount on Subaru Outbacks? How's that work? No, are they dude, just look. enforced green or how's that work? Dude, this haircut's phenomenal, I think. So. No, I'm not mad at it, bro. You got notes, you? This guy's at worst, bro. Oh, you're going to die soon. You have AIDS. And be like, I don't have AIDS. You're like, AIDS isn't a big deal, dude. You shouldn't really be worried about it. You know? I wasn't worried about Don't touch me again. That scared me. I woke up in my own bed. had no clue how I got there. I'd wet the bed. I mean, I wet the bed until I was about 30 anyway. I, did you too? Not until, th until I was like a teenager. Oh, that's nothing, bro. And, uh... And and that was a pretty crazy night. Hold on one second. You went to bed so you were 13? <sighs> Pro I don't know. Be probably honest. around there, I would guess, yeah. I got to watch you like a hook. Damn. Those people always awesome. This <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. It might mess. have been a little bit, like, maybe not 13, but close. Maybe 10, at least. Well, 10 ain't far from 13 if you're talking at least. <laughs> <laughs> probably fucking... <laughs> no, but yeah, I had, a, I had a huge issue with it. It was terrible. Dude, I used to, t I used to have those buzzer underwear, bro. They put these underwear on you. When the urine would hit them, a buzzer would go off, oh right? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not joking. Look them up online. This ain't no joke, bro. So I went to my grandparents. My mother didn't tell them that I had these, right? I'm really hoping these are a real thing and not just a, like a torture device your parents put on you. Not at all, bro. They made by themselves. This doctor gave them to us, dude. This dude was a bona fide. Like Google. This dude was a bona fide doctor. So we went there. I got the electric pants on. On, dude, you know. <laughs> wait, wait, what should I Google? I'm getting my rest. Probably, uh, you know, buzzer underwear for urinators. Uh, I'll Google buzzer underwear for urinators. Um, and uh, so then, but they didn't tell my grandfather, right? 
So he fucking, and they had a small house, bro, a little bitty house. So my fucking crotch is just butt, like he he wakes up middle of the night, dude. I'm fucking. <laughs> You're on fire? <laughs> I'm not on fire, but I'm buzzing hard, bro. Because I'd had apple juice, man, and I pissed big on apple juice, dude. I fucking spray out on the AJ. So I'm in there just buzzing, dude. And I didn't oh know. Oh, God. And he came in. They he still did, got him? Yeah. Get me a pair, Lee. He didn't, he didn't that's know. That's what I want. Get me a pair. He didn't know I'm, what was going on. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, that's what. He comes I, in. He's scared, how bro. How loud is it? How loud is this? In a little time? bitty house, you could uh, you could hear it from down I the hall. I just want to wake my wife up in the middle of the night like twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> I would just do two drops and, you, and it goes off. And, uh, and so my grandfather's in there, right? And he's all scared and shit. And uh, oh, this would have been terrible when I was a kid. And he's pushing me with a broomstick, dude. He thought I was dead, dude. He didn't know what had happened, and we thought I was possessed or dead. He's pushing me with a broomstick to wake me up, and he was worried because he had one of those heart makers, and uh, he was worried he would get electrocuted. He thought something was happening. He thought the house had short circuited it, or the or the phone company had fucked up. That's what he thought the phone company had fucked up. To a swingers party on accident in Denver. It was below. We were, we were partying up top. Went below and said, do not enter. Me and my friend's like, oh, I'll get He was like <laughs> bumping down there. So we went down there, and we realized it was a swingers party because it had a sign on it. Mm-hmm. And they had like rules. But it was like, I'd say the ratio is 10 to 1, dudes to, guy, to girls. Yeah. Not good. Not good. And the, like the, the seven girls that were there and the 70 dudes, I just felt bad for them. Yeah. I wanted to be like, girl, let's get out of here. They <laughs> were... You could tell their, their their morale was not hot. Yeah, their self esteem was not booming. Well, that's why you got to have like a Robert E. Lee type of guy in there. You got to have a straight up William Wallace running up and down the you know the to line. motivate them. Yeah, to motivate these chicks at a at a at a gang bang. That's yeah, a, you got to keep the morale high yeah. because if reality hits, they go, "What the fuck <laughs> am I doing?" Yeah. You don't need that. Yeah, you need to be passing out DSW. You shoot need that coupons. Tony Robbins dick game going yeah. on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you need that dude dropping knowledge yeah. on these girls. Women, <laughs> join me. You yeah. can do this. Yeah. yeah, man. Women have put up with a lot, dude. Just kind of like a regular guy, mm-hmm. maybe about six one, mm-hmm. but getting shorter by the hour almost because old age. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, old age takes a lot of density out of your bones. That's and, why if you're really old, I feel like you should almost. I don't want to say like bathe in milk, but you want to, you want to get the suppositories or something. You want to, yeah, yeah, just hide calcium in your ass or whatever you got to do to bone mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. You know, to get marrow heavy. I'm serious. Yeah. How old are you? I'm in my forties. Are you really? Yeah. You look older than that, actually, dude. A little bit. <laughs> no offense. Yeah. Because so what? Because of the, because of the beanie? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe uh, that's serious? it. Yeah. Well, you seem like uh, a nice guy. New you books. get an updated trip advisor. <laughs> You're going to have fun, though, man. Dude, what's this bottle of pills you got down here, It's that Kratom. <laughs> what is it's it? It's that Kratom. So you want some? Let me see this, bro. If you're a former addict, though, no, it ain't for you. I, yeah, don't dude, this me. has a brain riding on a, looks no, like a 36 it, caliber bullet. Yeah, dude. it's a brain riding on a bullet. <laughs> this is that fucking school shooter pills, dude. Is this what this is, bro? Have you seen this? No. <laughs> bro, you can't have this, man. Ah, uh, Yeah. That's what's making this guy's people like that do that in Las Vegas and everything, man. You can't have yeah, that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, man. Kratom? You should take these in China Kratom? and see what happens. No. You should take these in China. I'm not taking your... those back to China. Okay. They're probably illegal, You know what? They're though. probably from China. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, buy some out there and just get fucking weird. My, buy a geisha like cape or some shit. <laughs> oh, I'll buy some outfits and stuff, but I'm not going to get. Dude, wear them out there. Oh, I'm yeah. One with the culture, man. That's a good point. Actually, you get your, fully you Chinese. Whoever, yeah, go full you know, don't get racist about it. Don't no. wear like a Raiden hat or some shit. But wear <laughs> like a that. cool like kimono. Put a bunch of blades on my yeah. head. <laughs> like Wolverine yeah. or some shit. <laughs> like you're Raiden. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, uh, what is Kratom, bro? Let's not stop talking about that for a second. <laughs> because just in case this is the last time people ever hear from me, I want to make sure they know what happened. <laughs> no, I've actually chilled out on them. So we had a guy. Yeah, well, <laughs> 